one of the most common ways for an adversary or a malicious hacker or cyber criminal to get into a company's infrastructure is typically through finding a asset that is meant to be kept internally or is used in the CI CD pipeline. This is where the continuous integration and development happens. And you can think of tools like Jenkins, GitLab, GitHub, Jira, and that sort of tooling being on the web. Again, this is not always the case for a lot of these attacks that you see online when a company gets breached. Most times they are doing these attacks by going after some phishing campaign, but also there has been times and reports of web vulnerabilities that have happened because of this specific reason. So a lot of time when it comes down to doing a large scale pen test, a red team operations, or more than likely a bug bounty against a wide scope target, this skill set is one of the best things that you can apply and use in your day-to-day -day recon. I know that I've been against recon and a lot of times I've been just pushing everybody to stay away from doing automation when it comes down to doing recon, but this is the asterisk on that rule and that's because mostly it helps you identify vulnerabilities that could translate into a critical vulnerability itself. And that's because it helps you identify critical vulnerabilities that you can dig into and maybe escalate to a critical vulnerability so with that said i want to showcase this but because this is a bit of a sensitive topic and i can't just do it live or have a demo because this is not something i can do in a lab environment at least not yet i kind of wanted to just show you based on really really old recon data that i collected from one of my streams back in the day and kind of just look at this giant pile of subdomains for this company and show you how do you identify this how do you get started with this concept how do you find assets that are meant to be internal without just relying on those keywords so the first step to actually do that is to take a look at your entire list of subdomains and do exactly what your first initial thoughts were look for those jenkins gitlab and those keywords that you know are very very beneficial let me just jump into it maybe we can look at it live together it would make more sense for this case i have done this bug bounty program is it's an airline it's on hacker one it's a vdp but i've run subfinder and find all the subdomains within the two main domains that it's on their bug bounty program and you have this giant list it is a huge list of assets but you can easily identify internal environments if you don't know what that means these are the environments that i'm talking about these are are maybe they have something like it they have corp those are the environments you want to identify where they're hosting their internal tooling so for this case I, all i'm going to do is i'm going to do a grep and we're going to actually look for let's start with ci dot so this is anything that has the keyword ci in it Maybe that one isn't gonna work. Maybe we can do something like a .ci. These are gonna be hard to find because let's do it like this. So you can see there is a CI under the UAT, for example, and UAT a lot of times is a environment that is meant for developers to use. So maybe this example would be a good one to take a look at. I don't wanna open any of these websites. I don't even know if they're alive, but I'm gonna talk about that in just a bit, but I wanna kind of show you how I'm gonna look for these specific environments like that one so the other one we want to look at is jenkins for this one we're just gonna take the dots out this the reason why i did ci because ci is a very common way to look for something like jenkins a lot of times or anything that goes into continuous integration but jenkins is a tool that they use so maybe we do jenkins you can see there is multiple jenkins within multiple environments and let me just do a sort you what sort you does is that it gives you a list of unique domains and right here we can see that these are all the unique ones, but there is an xp.latim.com and there's also, it looks like GCP. That is another one that has Jenkins within it. Jenkins could be a name of an app that they have developed, but more than likely a lot of times these Jenkins are what you exactly think they are. The other ones that we can look for is GitLab, for example, or even Jira. I'm going to try maybe with Jira again, and then we're going to do a sort you Jira. Oops. Let's have one more time. I got to do a script for it. Uh, now we can see there is a tools.pub.latin.com. I don't know why this is how they have named it, but what I would do is I would probably look for this specific environment within Google, within Subfinder, or other resources, and also do the whole string right here with .latin.com. So we can do both back to back or just for some reason, I would just also look at that. So this is an example of knowing these tools, these the different environments that you can take a look at. We're going to do one last one. GitLab, for example, is another popular one that I think is going to just redo it. I'm going to assume it's going to give us either GCP tools or maybe something like IT or Corp. 
and it looks like this one has it dot lan which is one of the domains that's also in scope from what i remember uh, that's also within the rule of this program but gitlab.it is another one so what i would do in this case is i would start taking notes of these different environments so i would take it and maybe type it in to a file so we're just going to call this uh targets or we're going to call this juicy targets dot txc and then what we're going to do is we're going to add this one this uh, pub or tools.pub even though pub could be public but the keyword tools are an interesting one so we're going to add that to our juicy targets there was a gcp for i remember we're going to throw that in here and just to be safe i'm just going to run one of these uh, maybe we'll do jenkins one more time and it looks like it was an xp that we missed and then there's also uh let's see what else is on here i think xp is the only one. Oh, gcp right there gcp is the one that we missed so we're going to put gcp also into our list right here so now these become your main targets so let me look at this really quick so now these become your main targets we went from looking at count output and we can just do a sort u wcl there's 8,000 domains in here based on what i have found so far but we have narrowed it down to four main areas that we want to focus on and this is because they have these different tooling and it always doesn't have to be these toolings you can also look for apis and things like that within these domains but one of the ways that i typically do on my engagements whether it's bug bounties or if i'm doing a pen test or consultancy and they ask you to look at their external parameter and look at their external assets and see what is vulnerable and easy to get in these are the environments this is how i identify them and these are the ones that are prioritized a lot of times you find things like tomcats that are default or vulnerable that are old you can find jira instances that have read only access sometimes you can just search for things and go through them sometimes you can find things like sonar and we can actually check this out right here as well uh, but sonar you can have maybe default credentials or default access a lot of times or nexus and things like that but right here we can see there's a cloud.xp so we have it covered and we have it already covered but you also get these different tools that may have default credentials and i know with bug bounties a lot of times this might be covered more often but in the case of a red team or even doing a pen test a lot of times i have more success with this so i want to kind of talk about these i know a lot of times i don't want to do recon i don't want to push new bug bounty hunter to do recon and this type of recon isn't necessarily something that is automated the version that i want you to stay away from is just fully automating everything to nuclei and relying on a tool to find your vulnerabilities but things like that i think it's good kind of recon that you should participate in and partake in we can also automate this it's i actually encourage you to automate it but you can have a list of keywords that you have grip maybe feed into an xarc for example an xarc as a grip and looks for these different keywords within your output.txt and creates them in another text file and then you can just go through them and one by one see which ones are alive which ones are accessible and you can just find your next targets that way i want to experiment with recon content that i kind of enjoy talking about so if you want to see more content like this if you find this useful and you think you want to hear more hints like this that helps you identify internal tools or internal domains that are meant to be private and not accessible externally drop me a comment maybe drop me the word internal and i'll see what i can do all right that's it i will see you all in next week's video peace